for Utah. Ladd becomes almost like their number one featured arm because she's better with the drop ball. So they like that matchup as this is a jam shot out towards second, reaching grab by Bellardi. Hit her in fair territory. And she swings and misses there on a half swing, chasing something upstairs. So Anders with her second strikeout. Pond at 298 with four home runs on the season. And the pitch is close, but called a ball. Bell went two for three with an RBI and a run scored in game one. And this time it's a strike three, another close call. The 0-2. In there. Strike three called and Bellardi goes down looking. Hit hard to third, scooped up by the third baseman and Zaldo. Safe at first, good play, fielding that grounder by Anzaldo. Right back to third, Anzaldo to second for one. Butler to first, safe there. Fielder's choice, two outs. I mean, she did start to turn away once the once she was officially out. So nothing changes with the call in the field. Dug her a little bit. She bats fifth. And quickly loops one just over the head of Bellardi, and she is on base. Well, in the middle of their order. Again, Herrera bunts, lays this one down in fair territory, and the first baseman, Nelson, charges and throws out to Bellardi. So a successful sacrifice, but the Utes have stolen 41 bases this year. Poke the other way to right. Reese Lee moving over, makes the catch. Butler will move up to third as Lee throws it in on a hop to Posse. Doesn't feature a lot of stuff moving downward. A lot of upwards in the zone. Pitches from Lopez. And she gets Todd on a rising pitch. Todd strikes out. Her senior year at Utah, which was in 1994, of course, the last time they went to the College World Series, as dragging herself on base is Denning. Liner to third. Tenning was taking off, and it's a double play. Anzaldo leaps to make the catch. Then the easy part is in motion. Ground ball, posse to first, and Tiana Bell steps on the base. All of a sudden, done with two. Right now. And strikes out. There were base runners galore in game one. We didn't have having some success here. She has had an outstanding career, great season, as this is looped off the end of the bat in the left. And a base hit for Anzaldo at the top of the order. Runner goes, swing and miss. What a play by that combination of Doyle and Posse, who is on the move covering that stolen base attempt by Anzaldo. Caught the ball nearly on the run. Now full against Lopez with Kaylee Pond on deck. And she is on base for the first time. Uh, four runs given up overall in the two innings and got the loss as well. Dribbler toward first. Difficult play and that's safe at first. Kaylee Pond still very speedy and athletic. Definitely speed on the bases on first and second. Swing and a miss though. Bell strikes out for the second time. And it's the fifth Mariah Lopez. 32 of those came in 2022. Smacks it to short. Anders charges. And Anders, although she's had not the best day offensively, has had a fine defensive day dating back. Her fill-in status. Had her moments in game one, was able to reach base with a walk, and reaching base here is Reese Lee at the bottom of the order. Number nine batter finds her way on base with an infield hit. 
Bellardi to left field, medium depth. Quickly the second out. So the first three innings of the game gave up four runs on four hits as Nelson sends it right back out to left field and Kaylee Pond records a couple of outs in a row. Drives it the other way. On the run, the right fielder. It's in and out of the mitt of Reese Lee, and Butler slides into second. 3-2. Popped up in this swirling wind. Left fielder Denning charging and calling off the shortstop and making the out. <laughs> up and over the mitt of Doyle. And with less than two outs, Butler advances. Kiroga gets a hold of it, sends it to left for a base hit. Cal is on the board, and it's 1-0. Oh. Raven out of the Sorcerer Gold Club team. Punched out. Lopez has been a regular starter all four years here at Utah. Very familiar on this playing surface. That is in fair territory for the catcher, Chloe Doyle, to end the inning. Abby Dayton to left and just over the glove of Pond. Dayton on the move, turning quickly for third. <laughs> Chopper toward third, and Zaldo does a great job of looking the runner back. One down. <laughs> to second. Even there, Dayton threatening to tag, but the way that Quico likes to call pitches, she's been learning them. To shortstop, Anders in time to first. Jaquez grounds out, and Utah strands the runner on third after Dayton's leadoff triple. And Zaldo, who's batting now, great job of looking off the runner. Slaps this to third. Anticipation, though, from Jimenez. And then Zaldo is thrown out. Oh, strike three, so it doesn't matter. Pitch clock violation included. Lopez still striking players out. That's her seventh. Actually posted. It is supposed to be enforced either way, but I would argue it doesn't get enforced as much when it's not posted. Kaylee Pond grounds out to second base. And saying all the other powerhouses in Polynesia took it. Big help from Posse, who draws ball four. Strikeout to walk ratio. It's been really good today. That last walk was the first of her outing. Strike three, throw down to first, close, but Sakai dives back in. Lee chops to third. And Zaldo to first base. And even though the runner moves up, one of those, neither team is terribly upset there. Probably Cal, two for four out of the leadoff spot. Throw to second, and a delayed steal, perfectly done by Sakai, baiting the throw from Lagi Kiroga. <laughs> On third, puts extra pressure. Line drive to third, and Zoldo squeezes it and spikes it. Despite their 7-4 win, an error on the Cal side, some base running stuff, some wild pitches. This one lines softly, but through into center field for Tiana Bell. Elon Butler to right field, relatively deep, but then Lee comes in a couple of steps. Three and two. Chop to third, Jimenez bobbles it, throws on a hop to first. It gets away from Nelson. Everyone moves up more. 
Jimenez got a half step ahead of herself. Pops it up, this could be in play. Down the first baseline, drifting back toward their territory almost. Nelson keeping up with. Pops it up. Whitefielder's got to take charge here, and Reese Lee does. Gonna say a missed opportunity. Will this be a moment that Cal won here today? And Archer did pitch. And this is hit sharply through into left field by Kayla Nelson to lead off. I uh, had a golden chance to tie this thing up, but they could not. Stranded Dayton on third after she was there with nobody out. This was a fielder's choice ground out dealing with hand injuries. Jimenez lines this to right. Butler makes the catch. Contested play at first. And you know what? It's it for, for a reason like that to me. Here's a good jump, though. And that throw hits the foot of Dayton. And after all that, she is on second. Tying run in scoring position for Denning. Up the middle, diving play, Anders. California has had two outstanding defensive plays to end the last couple of innings on the left side of the infield. In the week. And by a step, it is Mika Lee reaching base, the number nine hitter for Cal. Diving play by Anders against Denning in the sixth. Top play, first baseman charging. Nelson throws to the second baseman, covering, and that's... So look there, Dayton as Anders strikes out. Now, Paw the other way, off the mid of Jimenez, and she tags the back. She's had actually several plays in this game, or let's get this grip going a little bit. Liner the other way, pawned into, uh, Bell into right field for a base hit, and the run comes in to score. Mika Lee dives in, and the insurance run Cal was looking for, 2-0. celebrate the end of the inning. I don't think there was really any way we could know. So I just got word from the press box. It's not anything to do with uh, what occurred out there on this play, which was going to be a single and an RBI single. Two and one. This is going to be a tough play with English on it. Anzoldo throws it away. And a chance for Hawkins to advance to second. to right. Todd makes the catch. The pinch runner right moves up. Because it was so close. The one, two, the third base, looking off the runner, throw to first. Nice play by Anzaldo. Recovering from her error earlier in the inning. But Archer has to throw strikes here. You don't want to face. Wow, look at this ball gets away. Throw out at the plate. The pinch runner White is thrown out by Kiroga. And what a tag by Archer. Close proximity throw. She had to put heat on it. Archer caught it, applied the tag, game over. Who only has 14 at bats coming in up there. You have to take this risk. Really the only thing is looking back on it. She paused for half a second. Let's see the tag here. Calvin Walker says, out, Cal wins. 
on the potential wild pitch. Logi Kiroga cements her player of the game status. She had the only RBI, and she made the wild scramble to pick up the ball and hit Archer, who I would reiterate, what a tag. What Cal, somehow, with the runner on third, the ball gets away. They survive and extend this series. Uh, set up rubber match tomorrow in game three. At 12 o'clock, local time, A.J. Canals.